Hi everyone, I'm Dexter from Echo Data. Uh, in this session, I want to talk about testing and measuring Data Hub's performance. Now, this is the phase one for improving Data Hub performance. We've been getting a lot of requests and seeing ourselves that some of the bandwidth and latencies on our, some of our endpoints are going up. But as soon as we started tackling these issues, we realized we have no way of measuring our testing performance, um, which is a solid framework for like trying to find these performance bottlenecks. So the goal of this project was to find pluggable but extensive ways to collect traces and metrics, um, and also an easy and flexible way of load testing. So first for tracing. Tracing is important for finding all the steps that the, the system goes through when a request comes in. Now, um, we wanted to export observability data in a central manner, which is why we went with OpenTelemetry. Um, now, OpenTelemetry allows us to not only plug and play tools of choice that each of you guys would be using, like Jaeger or Zipkin, um, but also it supports a widely used libraries for free, like JDBC, Elasticsearch, Kafka, which means that as the request comes in, we can see how it, our requests are sent from our GMS to MA consumers or GMS to uh, Elasticsearch, um, Kafka, and so on. Um, so what what happens in behind the hood is in the metadata service you can just put an add with span annotation, and the uh, open telemetry Java agent will send that over to either Jaeger or Zipkin based on your configuration. Now for metrics, um, we decided to go with Drop Wizard metrics. Um, although we wanted to prefer going with open telemetry for everything, we realized that open telemetry Java metrics library is still in alpha. Uh, so we wanted to go with more established um, metrics library while being able to be more flexible and pluggable. So what Drug Wizard Metrics does is uh, any custom metrics goes into JMX metrics and it's easy to collect these JMX metrics using the Prometheus JMX exporter to send over these metrics to Prometheus. Now for free, because we're collecting JMX metrics, we get custom, uh, we get the JVM metrics uh, in Prometheus as well. So in our example setup, what we do is we uh, set up a Prometheus JMX exporter on our metadata service uh, that sends over to our Prometheus uh, container. And we also have a Grafana container that visualizes the metrics collected by Prometheus. Now we've defined uh, a few dashboards um, for you and we'll show that during the demo. Lastly, load testing, um, we decided to go with Locust because it is a very simple Python library to easily uh, create multiple users and test how the users behave with our APIs. Um, so we provide example implementations for ingest search browse and graph requests um, in Python. Uh, and during ingest, the best thing was that we could use the ingestion library directly to mimic emitter behavior. All right, so we deployed a local data hub with the default monitoring setup that we have created for you. Um, now, so that means we've connected our uh, data hub instance to Jaeger as well as Prometheus and Grafana. Now first, let's go with the tracing. So once we have all the data ingested, we can do any kind of requests here. And find all the data sets. Um, let's do a search on the data sets only makes a clean trace. Now you can go to here, um, find traces for the Data Hub GMS service on the GraphQL endpoint, and you'll be able to see the steps that are required for this search request. Um, now the entity search request goes in, it does a search on the dataset index, um, extracts the result, and the GraphQL automatically resolves all these urns returned by the search endpoint um, to get all the previews. So you can see all the gets happening here at the same time. So we do a batch get, batch get, batch get. All right, um, we can do the same thing for ingest. For example, uh, let me find some ingest that we have done before, um, right here. And you should be able to see that it connects GMS and MA consumer together, even though I am currently running a separate consumer setup. 
So you can see that it does a bunch of get requests, select requests to the MySQL DB. So this is retrieved by the JDB, uh, JDBC connection. Um, and then it sends an MAE event to the metadata audit event topic. Now the MA, MAE consumer picks it up and uh, consumes it and puts a bulk request on the search indices and the graph indices. So this is a great way to visualize how a request flows through uh, multiple pods in our uh, data hub setup and uh, what kind of request goes in, what's the latency like, and so on. Well, the good thing about this is that we can get a snapshot of how these requests come in, but in order to get a holistic view of how long each step takes, we need to be able to export metrics. So now let's move on to our Grafana dashboard. So here, um, I show you the Data Hub dashboard that we have created for you. Uh, once you use the Docker Compose, it automatically provisions these data set, uh, these dashboards. Now you can see that we have something for get, ingest, search, uh, browse, and graph, and so on, as, long, as well as some of the Kafka metrics like the lags, how many requests requests comes in to the producer, how many requests are consumed by the consumers, as well as some of the topic lags we have. Um, which will be very useful in trying to figure out where the bottleneck is. Um, you can see that I've been sending a few requests before. Um, you can see the latency breakdown by steps. There's the ingest to DB versus producing MAE step. Um, like search has multiple steps, like building search requests versus uh, sending it to Elasticsearch um, and so on. So hopefully the, these dashboards will be very useful. So let's see, uh, uh, let's move on to load testing and see how the load testing affects these dashboards. Now, starting a load test using Locust is very easy. You have to download Locust, um, it'll be in a doc, um, and you can run some of the Python Locust files. Each of these Locust files, so there's four um, inside here, you can see that there's ingest, search, browse, and graph. You can run each of these recipes um, by running Locust uh, and pointing to that file. So let's let's try to run ingest. Now, once this runs, it shows you a local host port that gives a web interface. Now here you can say how many users you want to spawn, um, and then the host you can point it to the GMS instance that you want to load test. In our case, it's a local instance, so it should be localhost 8080. And once it starts swarming, um, it should start sending the requests. And you can see that num requests are starting to go up. And we can see things like charts where we see the total requests per second, as well as uh, some of the response times as well. Um, now, once this goes in, you should be able to see um, that the ingest endpoint starts to see an increase in QPS, increase in latency, and so on. Awesome, so that's the end of the demo. Hopefully this will let us find the production bottlenecks on our system, but also help you guys monitor whatever data hub you have deployed in your production system uh, as well. All right, so uh, in the future, um, what we want to tackle now, since this is the phase one, we want to actually start improving performance of our system. So. There are multiple tasks that are on us. Um, first is to increase ingestion throughput. Um, and then second, reduce lag in MA consumption. We realize that if we slam uh, Data Hub with a huge number of ingest requests, we start seeing a huge increase in the MAE lag. Um, so we want to reduce that. So third is to handle surges of search graph requests gracefully. Um, the fourth is to improve search latency and there are multiple more projects that we could be doing in order to improve performance. So stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.